Hello everybody, this is Philip calling from Switzerland. Hi Philip Hello. from Switzerland. Hello. Hi, where we met two years ago actually, Claire, uh, at the Zurich Film Festival. Oh, that was great. At the green carpet. It's like a lot longer ago. Was it three? I'm not sure. Time is running. <laughs> First of all, congratulations to your movie. I enjoyed it very much. Um, to be honest, I had tears in my eyes at the end. Um, it's such a great piece. So first of all, um, how is your relationship with cats? I think they're extraordinary creatures. They're majestical, mysterious and awesome and inspirational, independent, and funny and everything that Louis Wayne celebrated them as, as well as using them as a cipher for our own human nature. Um, however, uh, I probably will have on my rider always foy, never cats. Um, they're very difficult to work with. I'm very glad that Will did use them in picture rather than CGI. That would have taken the film into an odd direction and I, you know, they're wonderful in, in what we managed to capture of them, but it would take... Kittens are great. Saucer milk, lick, ball of string, rope, wool, play. They do exactly what they're supposed to. Anything older than a kitten, then you really waste half a day waiting for one small little beat of action. Yeah. It's a long day. <laughs> it's a long day. <laughs> but I do love them. What about, what about you, Claire? Do you have cats? I do not have cats. I have a very healthy respect for cats and I feel very judged by them. And so yeah. I know that they know better than me yeah. and they tell me with their eyes and their behavior. So I love, whilst I love being near them, I, I just want to make them love me and that's never going to happen. So yeah, I couldn't live with one. It would, I would feel very insecure and yeah, neurotic all the like time. Like a dolphin in the house or something. Yeah, you know, exactly. It should be very odd. Or, or living or with a, a supermodel. Or a super, really? Yeah. They well, look at you just, like they... they I don't just know. Like, I just imagine if I lived you? with a supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> I would feel constantly like, yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I think you should give it a go. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move on in. <laughs> the cat and the supermodel really the test your sanity. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so in brief, appreciate them enormously but couldn't live with one. Okay. That's uh, you guys uh, with, with, the, with the cat in, in the front uh, called Paul in the movie. And I found that picture here on Instagram uh, at Claire's uh, Instagram channel. Is that the same one? Um, no, uh, that's the grown cat Felix that played um, okay. grown up Norbs. Um, Norbs who is actually oh. Peter, uh, not Paul, but it's, you know, Peter Paul, it's all it's all a tongue twister. But the uh, yeah, no, so that that's not uh, a mature version of that cat. The mature version of the kitten in the film actually now resides at my best friend and uh, a producer on this film, Adam Ackland's house. Yes. Okay. Norbert. Okay. Norbert. <laughs> <laughs> so the movie ends and begins with uh, generosity. Uh, when Louis draw uh, a cat for a complete stranger on a train for free, uh, and I think a small favorite can make such a big impact, as we can see in the movie. Um, what do you think about small favorites? How do you handle this in, in your life? As the lyric goes, put a little love and it all comes back to you. Give a little love, sorry, and it all comes back to you. It, it, is, it is a film about that, and it's about two people finding each other. Um, both of whom find it difficult for different reasons uh, to be alive at that time. And um, their love triumphs over adversity and grief and many, many obstacles in the case of Louis's long life and is there at the end. And also the love that he put out uh, into the world with his artistry and the joyous celebration of the beauty of the world, but also the fun and idiosyncrasies of cats and our behavior ciphered through them. And, that fan love, for want of a better term, comes back to support him and his family in his last years on this planet. And um, yeah, I think you're right. It, it, acts of generosity, you know, they, they should be things that we do automatically without any reciprocal um, need or, or, or expectation. But it's, it's karma, for sure, at work in a very wonderful and real sense. What about you, Claire? Yeah, I think it's, yeah, what um, Emily says, which is that, that, you know, you he Louis sort of has a job, which is to share what, how he sees the world and the beauty of the world with other people. That's sort of the biggest, the gift that he can give people. Um, 
and that I think he sort of does that because she tells him to pretty much. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, and it, everyone in their own way has what they can give to the world. And, you know, um, I think we've all got to, to do that. She finds his reason because of her telling him mm -hmm. that. And, you know, he finds his confidence through the reception with his benefactor, Sir Ingram, and, um, and the world at large who, who also echo Emily's sentiment that he's good at it. He has a gift for it. And it's something that he should enjoy and, and be celebrated for and work towards. Okay. What would you like to give to the audience with that movie? Um, uh, uh, both of you, but especially Benedict, because you co-produced the movie as well. That love and connection are the most important things in life. And they are the bedrock for happiness and continuum and the ability to if you are feeling different and ostracized and judged for that, that there is a place for you. I mean, I'm sort of taking words mm -hmm. from a previous answer that Claire gave, but it's the truth. It's, it's a film that celebrates um, a person for who he is and doesn't judge him for who he is. And I think very much that's an important thing to put out into the world. The idea that you can find a place, there's a place for all of us, however differently we think or behave. And there is a value to each and every one of us that should be celebrated and nurtured and loved and nourished. My time is almost up. Thank you so much, guys, for talking to us. I wish you all the best, and I hope I see you next time person to person. All the best for you. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. You too.